Well, good afternoon and welcome. Welcome to everyone and thanks for joining us here at Tech Columbus, um, a facility that is literally radiating with innovation and populated by technology entrepreneurs who are busily planning all of our futures. It's a particularly appropriate venue for today's announcement of a new program at Audubon University. I'm pleased to announce that beginning in the fall of 2015, Audubon will launch a four-year systems engineering program designed to prepare the engineers of the future. We are also working with Columbus State Community College and rolling out a transfer program in systems engineering as we continue to expand the number of collaborative programs we share in an effort to establish affordable and successful pathways to the baccalaureate degree. Our students will be trained with the requisite skills for 21st century engineers. They will graduate with critical thinking and problem solving skills, along with significant hands-on experience in responding to complex challenges. In fact, the kinds of challenges faced by businesses all around the world every day. Audubon continues to develop and launch innovative programs like our zoo and conservation science program, and now our systems engineering program that respond to students' needs and interests, as well as to significant career opportunities that they will face upon graduation. Our systems engineering program responds directly to the needs of our state and our region. According to the U.S. Department of Labor Statistics, 34,000 engineers will be needed in the state of Ohio by the year 2018. Audubon graduates will stand prepared to help fill that pipeline. David Painter, operations manager at Worthington Steel, noted when we talked with him that the engineers of the future need to think big, and they need to deal with large and complex projects. Their skill set must be multifaceted. His assessment of the Audubon program is that it will prepare the kind of engineering graduates we need for the 21st century. A multidisciplinary engineer who can handle a wide range of plant engineering tasks. And now it's my pleasure to introduce one of the educational innovators behind all of this who helped create the program Dr. Aaron Reinhardt, physics professor at Audubon and interim director of systems engineering, to explain the unique nature of our program. Aaron? Um, I'm excited to tell you today about systems engineering, as well as the unique aspects of the program we'll be launching at Otterbein in the fall of 2015. Systems engineering involves the design, analysis, and implementation of large and complex systems. Systems engineering degrees offer a broader based education than more traditional engineering degrees. Audubon's program was approved by the University Senate in the fall of 2013 and by the Ohio Board of Regents in January of 2014. It will be unique for its innovative and interdisciplinary curriculum, its level of personal attention to students, and its commitment to the liberal arts. According to the National Academy of Engineering's report, The Engineer of 2020, Tomorrow's engineers will need to be multidisciplinary and social, cultural, political, and economic forces will impact technological innovation. Integrative, multidisciplinary learning is our mind strength. And our curriculum combines the principles of mechanical, industrial, and electrical engineering with our nationally recognized integrative studies program. Audubon engineers will have broad training within engineering, but will be exposed to the best of, that our liberal arts curriculum has to offer. In short, our engineers will be well positioned to solve problems in a wide range of contexts. We hope to attract students to our program who have a passion for math and science, who love learning how things work, and who desire to solve difficult technological problems. Today's engineers, however, must strive for more than just technical competence. The modern engineer must consider environmental, economic, and ethical challenge, challenges in addition to design challenges. Otterbein's interdisciplinary training will reflect these varied considerations. For example, for their senior year experience, our engineers will work in teams with business majors, math and science majors, and marketing majors to solve real world problems. Such teams will represent the diverse groups in which professional engineers usually work. We expect such experiences will train our engineers to be leaders and will position them to solve the many faceted problems of the modern world. Uh, next, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. David Harrison. 
Dr. Harrison arrived at Columbus State Community College in 2010 as the institution's fifth president. He immediately began to forge new partnerships with area institutions such as Otterbein University in order to give families more choices in higher education. Please welcome Dr. Harrison to the podium. Now, on behalf of Columbus State Community College, I really want to congratulate uh, President Crindle and uh, the entire Audubon team for taking on a really important issue uh, and doing it in a really creative way. Uh, we are, uh, we're thrilled to be, uh, be a partner. Um, increasing the number of STEM graduates uh, in, uh, in our state is an important uh, economic uh, indicator uh, and factor in economic competitiveness for our region. Uh, and this systems engineering program uh, will open the door to students who might not have otherwise had the opportunity. Uh, and I really want to commend Otterbein for, uh, for taking on such a creative solution. For the past three years, President Crendell and I, uh, along with uh, uh, a number of other college presidents in the region uh, and K-12 superintendents, uh, have been working on a regional strategy uh, called the Central Ohio Compact. Uh, and the, uh, the, the, the compact is a partnership among educational institutions that is really looking to take a regional view, a system-wide view uh, of the way students uh, interact with our, with our institutions uh, and in programs like this, the way employers interact with their institutions. And I think this is a really important step forward uh, in our work with the compact. Among the principles uh, that we really strive for are guaranteed pathways uh, from the community college to bachelor's degree programs uh, built in wherever we can in, in two plus two partnerships where students earn uh, their freshman and sophomore year uh, uh, credentials at the community college and move on to the university for their bachelor's degree. The focus is on broad pathways, not narrow articulation agreements. A lot of us have been involved in these tortured course-by-course uh, course articulation agreements that, uh, that take us years to put together and students never follow. Um, so the ability to really develop these broad pathways we think is, is important and it's, it's really unique uh, for an institution uh, to build that two plus two process in the design uh, of a new program. We usually have to reverse engineer those uh, and the fact that this is built in up front uh, is, a, is a really important uh, step and again, I want to thank uh, thank Audubon for taking such a, a successful, um, a, a thoughtful approach. This kind of partnership is great for families. Uh, it eliminates uncertainty. Um, we talk a lot about guarantees in our work at the Compact and the ability uh, for students and families to uh, have a guaranteed pathway to a systems engineering degree. Uh, as I said, eliminates a lot of uncertainty both on the admission side, uh, but also. Uh, the curriculum side, so there's not going to be any rework in the process. And it really reinforces our, our shared commitment to, uh, to access and affordability um, and for a student to be able to take uh, the better part of the first two years uh, at, uh, at Columbus State before transferring to, to, uh, uh, to the Systems Engineering Program is a big deal. This one's a little personal for me uh, because uh, my first degree uh, is uh, chemical engineering and I'm I'm the first in my family to, to go to college, and, and uh, it's a lot of people don't realize that engineering majors um, are uh, overrepresented uh, compared to other majors in uh, first uh, first generation college students. Uh, so again, I want to thank and commend uh, Otterbein uh, for building access and affordability uh, into this program from the very beginning. It's now my great pleasure. Uh, to introduce uh, Stacia Edwards. We, Columbus State, recently lured Stacia away from Battelle, very recently, like three weeks ago, um, uh, to become a uh, special assistant for strategic initiatives. But when she was at Battelle, um, she uh, facilitated a lot of the conversations uh, with uh, Audubon and partners like Columbus State uh, that provided uh, some early framework for uh, the systems engineering program. Stacia. I've been excited about the possibilities for this initiative from the time probably the idea was conceived. As our economy has evolved, many different occupations and employment opportunities have emerged, yet few students have the opportunities to explore and understand the realities of how education and degree map into employment. A pathway like the one in systems engineering between Columbus State Community College and Otterbein 
provide students of all ages with the opportunity to explore the possibilities within all the fields of engineering. So why is this important? Well, yesterday I did a search of engineering um, on, within a 30 mile radius of Columbus on a portal called Ohio Means Jobs. Can you guess what I found? Anybody? A lot of jobs. So there were more than 1,200 open jobs that were available under the general title of engineering. So I decided, well, I'm gonna look at systems engineering. And what I found was that there were more than 100 jobs currently open. So while these jobs will not be filled by the students we're talking about who will come out of this proposed program, the demand for systems engineers will only continue to expand in the years ahead. And I know this because of what we've read about and heard from employers. Students need to have the skills that enable them to solve complex problems. And as you heard from Dr. Reinhardt, systems engineers do just that. But this pathway is not just about outcomes for individuals. It's also, it will also ensure economic prosperity for our region. As systems engineer, we'll most likely be engaged by an, an employer in what we call a high-tech job. And high-tech jobs make up what we call innovation economies. And in those innovation economies, that's where we see things with high wages. So we want to be in an innovation economy. These jobs that we're talking about, systems engineering jobs, they're fantastic. And we want more of them because they're job creators. According to Enrico Moretti's 12, 2012 book on the new geography of jobs, when one high-tech job is created or filled, five more jobs are created in the local economy. These are not the people who work for the engineers. It's not about the assistant or the tech. These are the professionals, the doctors, the lawyers, and these are the service workers in your community. One job creates five more. To create a true innovation economy for the 21st century, employers must have access to a highly educated workforce. A pathway through Columbus State Community College to Otterbein like this one will help Columbus be one of the handful of cities with the right industries for a true innovation economy, providing a solid base of human capital to attract even more good employers who offer high wages. As a citizen of this region, I'd like to thank both President Harrison and President Crandall for their visionary leadership introducing this major that's in high demand by employers in the liberal setting of Otterbein using an efficient partnership with Columbus State Community College. President Crandall. Well, I want to thank Dr. Reinhardt for his good work, and I also want to thank our partners from Columbus State, President Harrison and Stacia Edwards, for their support in this effort to bring our systems engineering program to Central Ohio. I also want to thank those of you who joined us today for this announcement. And before we open the floor for questions, I'd like to thank Tech Columbus for hosting us today. And I'd also like to recognize some of our community supporters uh, who are in our audience. Um, from OFIC, Jane Taylor. Jane, could you give us a wave? Thank you for coming. Uh, AICUO, Bob Burke. Oh, thanks for being here. Westerville City Schools, Jennifer Knapp. Lots of partnerships with Westerville Schools. And the City of Westerville, Dave Meadows, in Economic Development. Dave, good to have you here. So um, I would like to um, thank everyone for uh, being here.